Welcome everyone to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through an in-depth comparison between Apple's own AirPods Pro and the brand new Master and Dynamic MW08 Sport. These two sets of earbuds are fairly similar in price and overlap in a lot of features, but there are some big differences that make one the clear winner. Let's go ahead and dive into these a little bit more, starting off with just the cases themselves. Apple is of course using just that white plastic for its AirPods Pro, the same as they use with the standard AirPods. Nothing really flashy about it, but because it is plastic, it does enable support for Qi wireless charging. If you feel like you want to go manual, there is a lightning port there at the bottom so you can charge it with the same very cable you're using to charge your iPhone. At the same time, Master and Dynamic has chosen to go with this really very nice Kevlar fiber for the outside. This is not only extremely durable for when you're running around with these or being active, but it too enables wireless charging via Qi. I can set either of these on a Qi wireless charger and they will charge up. It's pretty darn impressive and a big difference from the steel case that launched with the MW08. So again, going from steel to Kevlar fiber for the MW08 Sport and new wireless charging. It does have a USB-C port if you prefer to charge wired and USB-C is very nice because it works with almost any of your other gear, including your Mac or your iPad. Since we were kind of talking about battery life here, we should get into that in a little bit more detail. AirPods Pro. Apple says you can get about eight hours battery life on a single charge when these are in your ear. But of course, that's when they're brand new. We all know that there are some battery degradation issues going on with AirPods, but brand new, you can get about eight hours charge uh, on a single use. And if you combine it with a case, you can get a total of 24 combined hours of usage time. That's pretty decent, but AirPods Pro are no match for the Master Dynamic MW08 Sport that offer 12 hours hours of single use time, four hours more than AirPods Pro. And if you combine it with a case, you can get a total of 42 hours of listening time. That is outstanding. So if you are planning on taking these for a long period of time, like over a weekend, and you want to get the most out of them, you want the most battery life, then you hands down have to go with the Master and Dynamic MW08 Sport. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the earbuds themselves. Apple, you know what you're getting with these. Apple uses the same design on a lot of its earbuds recently. I mean, going back to its earliest earbuds with the launch of the original iPod, Apple sticks with that white look that protrudes down the side of your ear. Some people love it, some people hate it, but you know what you're getting with AirPods Pro, same as with AirPods. So that's what you're getting with AirPods. Master and Dynamic has a very different design. It's got like a D shape to the outside there. If we can bring this close to their camera, it's got a D shape on the outside, as you can see like the Master and Dynamic logo. And instead of being in plastic, these are actually made out of sapphire glass. Sapphire glass is different from the ceramic on the MW08 and is more shadow resistant. So if these would ever fall out of your ear while running or cycling, anything like that, they're not going to break as easily. So these should be very strong and durable in your ear. That metallic look also gives a little bit of little shiny flex inside of those earpieces. Apple's again only comes in white whereas the Master and Dynamic MW08 Sport comes in this black colorway we have here but also comes green, blue, and a white silver. My favorite has to be that green and blue though. They both look amazing. Now each of these comes with silicone ear tips. Apple includes three sizes of silicone ear tips in the box fits quite a few people. Master and Dynamic is a little more granular. There are actually five different sizes of silicone ear tips included in the box and new with the MW08 Sport are two sizes, small and large, of foam ear tips. These can go on and they can create an even better seal for when you're being active. Speaking of being active, you need a very resistant set of earbuds. Master and Dynamic sports IPX5 water resistance, which means it can be hit by jets of water from pretty much any angle for a sustained period of time. Apple only blessed the AirPods Pro with an IPX4 resistant rating, which means it can handle light splashes. So there's a pretty darn big difference between these two sets of water resistance ratings. If you're looking for the most durable, again, you're gonna have to go with the Master and Dynamic MW08 Sport. 
In terms of physical controls, Apple offers the four stems, which I love. I'm a huge fan of four stems. So you put these into your ear and instead of having to tap like you do with regular AirPods, you can squeeze the stem to control Siri, to uh, change your music, use media controls, uh, switch ANC mode, all of that you can do with those four stems. And you can change what those functions are within the settings app of your iPhone. Now, Master and Dynamic, on the other hand, goes with physical buttons. So they're not going with a tapping gesture that I loathe, but instead there are physical buttons. On one earbud is a single button that is the multi-control button used to control playback and those sorts of things. And then the other earbud has two buttons on there that can be used to control volume. So you have both physical volume controls as well as that multi-function button. Both of these sets of earbuds sport active noise cancellation, but there's a difference between the two. Apple on the AirPods Pro offers three total modes. There's just off passive noise cancellation, there is turned on for active noise cancellation, and then there is transparency mode, which allows the world around you to come into your ears so you can hear what's going on while you're listening to music or watching a movie. Great if you're using these like on a bike or on a jog, anything like that. Master and Dynamic goes one step further and offers five total modes. There's just off passive noise cancellation, there are two versions of awareness mode, one that lets in the surroundings, just everything around you, and the other one that prioritizes voices. Though, in my experience, I do wish it did a little bit of a better job highlighting those voices and tuning out background noise. It does a good job, but I wish it did just a little bit of a better job. And Apple still doesn't have anything like that here on the AirPods Pro. Then when it comes to ANC, there are two versions of ANC as well. There's Max ANC, which is just turned all the way up, useful for things like planes where there's just a really lot of background droll. Or you have all day ANC, which gives you a solid amount of ANC, but still prioritizes battery life so you can get the most use out of them. That is where we spent most of our time. I really listened to a lot of audio just on that all day ANC mode. I found it to be the most balanced between battery and noise cancellation. Picking a winner for ANC, just like I said with the MW08, the MW08 Sport are easily the champions when it comes to uh, noise cancellation over AirPods Pro. AirPods Pro are good, they're just not as good as the MW08 Sport. In terms of audio quality, I have similar findings. There's no difference between the MW08 and the MW08 Sport. They both have the same custom 11 millimeter beryllium driver. So when we're listening on our iPhone, we're not getting any difference than I did with the MW08. They still sound the same and they're still better than AirPods Pro. Those custom drivers just produce rich, full sound that envelops you and you have a lot more nuance and detail than you do get with the AirPods Pro, which still sound good, just not as good as the MW08 Sport or even the MW08. But there is one other kind of difference going on with the MW08 Sport. MW08 Sport, quite a mouthful, it supports AptX Adaptive. Adaptive is a newer version of AptX and it kind of sits in between AptX and AptX HD. It doesn't get as high of a bit rate as AptX HD, but it can support multiple bit rates in there and can get some quite good audio quality. Unfortunately, Apple doesn't support Aptex at all. Not Aptex, Aptex HD, or Aptex Adaptive. So if you want to get even better audio quality than I got while I was testing, I'd have to go to a different headset or a different handset. I have to go to an Android phone or a PC or something that supported Aptex audio. So I could get even better audio quality than I'm getting now because I'm simply streaming in AAC. Let's go ahead and talk about special features that set each of these guys apart, starting with Apple's AirPods. Apple's AirPods and AirPods Pro, the biggest benefit has to be that tight integration into iOS. And I've said this many times in other videos and it's hard to escape, but Apple really does an excellent job. I mean, you can use Siri hands-free. You can go ahead and control the ANC mode right from Control Center. And there is spatial audio inside of Apple Music, but it gets even better this fall with iOS 15. Apple is adding features like integration into the Find My app so you can get lost alerts when you leave them behind. Uh, or see that last known location on the map. Apple's also adding conversation boost. So if you're hard of hearing and you're conversing with someone, you can have their audio boost into your ears and help you make out what they're saying even better. So conversation boost, integration into the Find My app and other benefits are coming with iOS 15 and it's really hard to beat those what we have than what we have with the Master and Dynamic MW08 Sport. But Master Dynamic did not slouch with the MW08 Sport. There's a ton of features here as well. The MW08 Sport offer far more premium materials. I mean, Kevlar fiber case, 
as well as incredible battery life, sapphire glass on the outside of the earbuds, all those custom aluminum uh, antennas around it, as well as the six speaker array, uh, the custom 11 millimeter beryllium drivers. There's just a lot of benefits to those guys. And we're not even talking about better audio quality and better ANC that we already touched on. Mastering Dynamic also has a dedicated app, whereas AirPods Pro, to do anything kind of funky, you have to go into the Settings app. But Mastering Dynamic has the MND Connect app, which allows you to rename your earbuds, you can see the battery life, you can adjust the ANC modes, and perform updates manually. Whereas AirPods, you have to go ahead and try to do those updates just automatically in the background. Mastering Dynamic also offers an auto off timer. So while you're listening, if you fall asleep or anything like that, it'll go ahead and cut off for you. So you don't have to worry about turning anything off manually. So moment of truth, which one is better? The amazing AirPods Pro or the exceptional MW08 Sport? I'll say again what I said when I compared the MW08 to the AirPods Pro. And that's that the MW08 and the MW08 Sport are the superior set of headphones. They have far better audio quality, better noise cancellation, they have more sets of silicone ear tips included, and they have much more premium materials. All of that adds up to a better set of headphones than Apple's AirPods Pro. It's still hard to escape Apple's tight integration into iOS and those great first party features that Apple continues to add over time. But if you're just looking for the best set of headphones overall in terms of build quality, and audio quality and ANC quality, then you have to go with the MW08, or in this case, the MW08 Sport. The problem is the MW08 was much closer in price than the MW08 Sport. MW08 was only a $50 price difference over AirPods Pro, but the um, MW08 Sport is a $100 price difference. That $100 is a little bit harder to overcome. If we're looking really at audio quality, is that audio quality jump worth that $100 price difference? We can build in all those other factors, such as the premium materials, the ANC, and all of those, but I think for a lot of people, they're still going to lean towards the AirPods Pro. If these were only a $50 price difference, I'd say it's a much easier case to jump to the MW08 Sport. But in terms of the overall user experience, AirPods Pro still may be the winner. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you'd like to grab AirPods Pro or the MW08 Sport, you can find links for those down below in the description. And stay tuned. More video content coming your way.